And on December, as you can see that all around that the trees and the houses with all of the decoration for the welcoming of uh, the king. Amen. They are celebrate together with us all over the world about the birth of the Savior. Amen. But there are sometimes many people just celebrate but they don't get the meaning of that. So we need to pray more and more so that more people will understand the meaning of Christmas. And at the same time, they are going to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And that will be an important meaning of Christmas for every one of us on this world. We'd like to welcome you to Global Mission Vision Fellowship. And we are here uh, at A461. So you can see at the address A461, Garden Grove Boulevard, Garden Grove City, California. And we are here on every Friday at 7 p.m. and Sunday morning at 11 a.m. So we'd like to invite you to come to this house of prayer and Global Mission Vision Fellowship and fellowship together with us, serve together with us, worship God together with us, and encourage one another in Jesus' name. And we'd love to see you in person. This is the Christmas season. So even though it's still early, would you please just stand up and just say Merry Christmas to one another. Just say a word of blessing. Say a word of encouragement with one another. And for those who are worshiping together with us online, uh, you can say Merry Christmas to all of us or uh, to one another. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Amen. It's a, it's a great, great new year as we are going to celebrate the Lord Jesus' day, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ and His birth. And the Bible continues to remind all of you that the Apostle John said, But now I'm coming to you and these things I speak in the world that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. One of the things that today at this Christmas season that you and I are going to speak, we are going to speak to the world that the Lord Jesus has come because for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. And this message that we speak today, tomorrow, and in the past, we continue to give us the joy and the celebration that you and I need in Jesus' name. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. And that message brings joy, brings peace, brings blessing to the millions and billions of people around the world through the last uh, two centuries. So let us continue to see more of the people to join together with us and sing Joy to the World. And this is a very familiar song to many of us you may hear here on the street. But let us just receive the joy of the coming King. Let us receive Him into our life, into our heart. In Jesus' name, Amen. Come on, you want to have the flag? Yes, come on. You want to have the co-host, the tambourine. Yes. You bring in the presence of the Lord and declare together. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive the King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Repeat, 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 
that's how they enjoy. No more less sins and sorrow brought upon him. We thank God that He ruled with His grace, His good mercy, with truth. And that's why all of us just come to Him as a faithful disciple, as a faithful believer, as a faithful children of God. We want to respond to all of His grace and mercy and goodness in our life. All of the salvation, the forgiveness of sin that He has given to us. All the joy and the celebration of our life. All the pain has been taken away. And all of the sickness has been healed. In Jesus' name, come together. Oh God, oh be faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh God, ye oh God, ye to Bethlehem. Come and be upon him, born the King of angels. Oh come, let us adore him. Oh come, let us adore him. Oh come, let us adore him. Yeah, I'm right, the 
the baby born Jesus. And we also see so many shepherds were surrounding in order to come and worship baby Jesus, the King who was born. Amen. And that's why the song we say that, let us come and adore Him. Let us come and worship Him. Amen. And you know that whenever you come to a special event, and you just imagine in this one, if you come to a very moderate family to an event where they treat us with food and gifts, you may see the level of difference of food and the gifts in a moderate family and a wealthy family. But if you are going to come to a feast of a king, there's some sumptuous, wonderful food and a lot of great gifts. Amen. Just imagine when the Queen of Sheba just came to visit King Solomon, what did she bring back into her country? She brought some of the gift to King Solomon, but King Solomon gave her even double and triple times more than what she just gave and present to King uh, Solomon. And in the same way as you and I are coming to celebrate the King of glory, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, there are more, much more things that you and I can receive from Him. But most important things that we have received from the Lord Jesus Christ is the forgiveness of our sin. The most important thing that we receive from Him is about the salvation of our soul. The most important thing that you and I can receive from Him is the everlasting life in heaven. Amen. Not only about peace, joy on earth, but we have a promise and an assured promise that we will be in heaven with Him when we come, when we pass by this world and come into the place of glory. 